Welcome back to the Redefine FX YouTube channel. So today I'll show you how to add some atmosphere to your renders using V-Ray Aerial Perspective. So I've imported a few models and I have an infinite V-Ray plane here. You can just go under Lights, V-Ray and drag out our standard V-Ray Sun. And then we just need to go under Rendering, Environment, enable the V-Ray Exposure Control and then click Add under Atmosphere and add the V-Ray Aerial Perspective effect. And I'll just enable the IPR. So it's pretty dark right now, so I'll just raise the sun up to add more illumination into the scene. And then we can click Effect Environment Race and Effect Background. So actually the sky is covered with the mist also. And then you can play with the visibility range to basically control the density so right now this is very high, so I can set it to just maybe 200 and we're gonna get a lot more uh, mist in the scene. Maybe now it's too bright, so I'll just lower the sun again. We sort of want the dusk fog effect. We can also play with the atmosphere height. So if I just make it one meter, right, it's just gonna be in the height of one meter. So just some mist on the ground. I'll just make it 20 meters to cover the entire scene. You can control the brightness of the mist with this in scattered light intensity. So if I raise that, you can see what that does. And we can also play with the filter color um, to maybe make it more sort of like a horror evening scene. Maybe just lower the saturation and you can get some pretty interesting stuff with very little work. So the sun is still visible. So in the settings, you can just click invisible. And as you can see, the sky is still sort of orange um, because it has that sunset look. So what you can do is go under sky model and instead of improved, we can just do CIE overcast. And now we just need to change um, the colors again to adjust it. So now it's too saturated, so I'll just desaturate it again. Right, the overcast sky model just gets rid of that orange radiant in the sun. So I just copied a few more of the trees over to make it a bit more interesting. And this is our final result. So super quick and easy way to add some atmosphere and realism to your scenes. And one more thing I want to mention is I have another tutorial on the V-Ray environment fog. So right now we're covering the aerial perspective, not the fog. The main difference is with the aerial perspective, you don't get those volumetric shadows, right? This is more just like a post effect that adds um, the mist into your scene just depending on distance and height. While the environment fog also takes into account the volumetric shadows and produces those god rays and those rays of light. And also the aerial perspective is a lot faster to render, it's basically instant, while the environment fog takes much much longer to render and it can add a lot of noise unless you crank up the settings. So that's why using the aerial perspective is usually the preferred choice unless you specifically want those rays of light and that volumetric light to show up. So I just wanted you to know the difference between the two. Again, I do have a tutorial on the channel for the fog if you want to check that out. So as always, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I'll be uploading more tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.